All right, time to start plowing with our new plow. We just got this plow this year. It's a Ferris plow plow. We've uh, always been plowing with John Deere plows, but this year is the first time that we've got our Ferris. So let's see how it works. All right, well, we just barely made one round. And I just goofed. I thought I'd click record, but I just took a picture instead. But anyways, we might have to adjust the tires. We're probably going a little bit deeper than what we want. But the tractor can pull it around five miles an hour. But so far, it's not, we're not, not looking bad. It's looking pretty good. All right, so from the look of things, I don't know if you can quite see it on camera, but on one pass, it doesn't quite throw the dirt over completely. So by that means, it means we're gonna need to calibrate our GPS to where the tractor turns around the same spot every time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, looks like we got it mostly figured out. I have it set to 5.6 miles an hour, but it can barely do five. GPS shows four and a half, so not too bad. We might have to get another tractor to where we can pull it faster. Uh, we have one tractor that's a little bit more stronger than this one. So we might go and get that one. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll see. But other than that, it's, we got it figured out the, the line that it was leading. We got that figured out. We recalibrated the GPS. Now it's driving, turning around at the same spot. Park 29? Nah. Finally got my lunch though. Still working good. Ooh, look what I found. I don't know if you can see that, but that pin right there is about to come off. That is not good. That is not what you want to see. So I guess I'll be uh, quickly fixing that whenever I get to that end. Much better. Well, it's about 8.37. I'm gonna call it a night for today and then head back early tomorrow morning. All right, it's the next morning and time to get back to work. Got my diesel tank here. I'm gonna fill up the tractor with diesel. Gonna service the plow, grease everything. Every single one of these units here has a grease insert. And then I also bought these new pins which i'm gonna put in right over here because these are not the right ones and i do not want them falling out so i'm just gonna put some new ones on here much better now i don't have to worry about these pins falling out
looks like it's time to change a tractor. This one right here is an 8335R tractor, John Deere. And that one is a 8370, so hopefully that one can pull it a little bit faster than 4.3 miles an hour. We'll see how that tractor can pull this back. Looks like it's stuck. Might need a hammer. <laughs> you can do it. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good hammer right there. Why is it so stuck though? That's my question. On the other tractor. It hooked up. Time to start plowing. All right. So the problem that we had here now is. Oh my one... gosh, Colin is making a freaking video. Shut up! I'm in the middle of something. Anyways, one of these row units was really bent. We had found a a really big piece of cement close to one of our wells. We got a little too close to it, and we didn't see it. It was all the way underneath the ground. So this is bent, so now we have to put a new one on there. And we're plowing again. It's all fixed. We actually ran into some problems where the pin didn't want to come out that was holding it all together. So we had to go to town and get a, get a try to get a press to knock it out of there. And those guys over there are now trying to get that cement pad that, was, that we actually hooked onto and how we bent one of those units. They're trying to get that pad off of the field to where we don't ever hit it again. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>